hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how to make the LED control uh, application that will be able to control each individual LED. Uh, we're going to create these programs where you're going to be able to turn off each individual LED and also turn them on, each each of them. And it also has the same uh, uh, LED players we had before. So let's start by actually going to the virtual box and First of all, you have to down, uh, download the uh, LED template, that one on the link down below, Ye and extract it on the ARM Kitabia folder. Once you have it here, uh, you're going to go to the LED template folder, and you're going to see we have all the. It's pretty much the same files as the Hello example program. All I did was changing the word uh, Hello to LED. So everything is the same. If you open the actually the Utopia Designer, um, where it says it's gonna still have the LED player and uh, replace the Hello base form to LED base form. Um, first of all, what I'm gonna do is just add a, a box uh, where I'm gonna kind of put the LEDs, and I'm just gonna change the color so it just uh, looks a little bit more organized. Um, we're gonna add the button number three and push button also push button number four um, you're gonna notice that this one is a little bit different uh, from the hello um, before in the hello we actually do the configurations here on the edit slots but we're not gonna do it here we're gonna do it in the code it's a lot easier and faster that's the only difference we have from the other perm the last perm we did and we're gonna change the um, text box to on uh, LED one on and the other one push button let's need to rename it LED one off okay this that's pretty much it for the design and we close this and we're gonna start with the uh, open the LED uh, program and it looks exactly the same as the other one like I said is um, all all these programs. Uh, all I did was change the word "hello" to "LED," and you know, see, you have to. If you want to do the same thing, create another program. All you have to do is you can use the same sample and replace the word "hello." And those are the files where it has to be changed. It. And don't forget to change that the header file and um, program. Just all the changes. All the changes has been done. Okay. Um, okay. Let's start with the programming part. Um, we're gonna go to LED.cpp, and this part is the part with the buttons are where you connect the push buttons instead of be doing it before. Um, we're doing it right here. To be able to do that, don't forget you have to add the header file that says Q push button that age, and this part, the standard library IO library, is because we have the system um, running the the command system and we're going to run another commands okay first we copy and paste that part and um, here we have push button number one two let's make it three and four as we did before and we're going to rename that to on LED1 and off LED1 Um, the other part, what we're going to do is create the control for the LEDs now. Uh, it's exactly similar, pretty similar to the um, LED player, just one line is different. That will be the control line. So we're going to copy and paste it. And here we're going to do the changes. First, is the, um, let's change the label, just rename it to LED1 on. That's what going to be display and this time we don't need here what we're going to do is IO control and then um, open parenthesis open parenthesis and this actually what the LED um, program is uh, on the mini 440 that we're going to use to control uh, it says LED sli developer slash LED um, comment zero. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's if you download the Linux example code, um, it's gonna be that way. Uh, 
if you know what it is you can just put it in the comments uh, this number is actually the state number 1 is for on and 0 is for off and the second number is actually the LED number is LED 0, 1, 2, 3 and 0 will be the first LED um, here what we're going to do is change the part to on LED 1 like we have it on the connect and just actually do the same thing copy and paste it and now we have uh, off LED 1 and we change the state uh, the label and the state so this is 1 and 0 to be off and the second number will be the LED 0 the first LED okay that's about it that's the only lines you have to change and uh, um, that line is what controls the LED we com comment that to say LED 1 and everything looks good and we have to change the header file we have actually star LED we add the other these two other lines it's going to be the LED, uh, LED on on LED 1 and off LED 1 and those are all the changes you have to do it's just so we save it save it and what we're going to do is just run this Okay, open the terminal. Just change directory to good. Arm, uh, arm could help ya. LED template and build. Same thing. Oh, we have an error. Oops, I see what it is. Oh, embarrassing. Okay, I forgot to close that. There. And then there, save and run it again. Okay, now we have the binary file that we're gonna actually install on the on the Kudopi folder. Now we go to connect to server again and FTP login. And this is the same thing as we do the other programs. Hello, we put the server number, the IP, and connect. Same password. And we're just gonna go tell what it is, what it is. Oh, I don't know what my head is today. Um, out. Utopia, binary. And we're just gonna copy and paste that here. I had it already, so I'm just going to replace it. Collapse, and we're going to copy the other LED desktop. Just copy. Apps, have it already. Replace. Okay, uh, one more thing before we're going to actually go to Minicom and connect to the Mini 2440. A serial port, USB to serial, um, and we change the directory where the LED binary file is. And we do the same thing as before change mode, we give permission to the file AX plus X LED, and that's pretty much it. You can get ready to run the program that we just did, and you can see you can control LED 1 on off on off there is no problem so I'm gonna let you figure out the rest how to control the other LEDs is pretty simple that will be the assignment for the week have fun and I'll be posting more videos soon thank you for watching